This is Eugene Hanrykovich. I'm in the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire Timeline 4830T laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire Timeline 4830T computer. Okay, uh, as with all other computers, before you start taking it apart, you want to disconnect all power to it. That means the power cord and also disconnecting the battery. Uh, for most laptops, disconnecting the battery means physically taking the battery out. Uh, but because of the advanced long life battery design of this laptop, it's very difficult to take the battery physically out so Acer has a different way for you to disable the battery and it's real simple so all you do is flip the laptop over there's a removable panel on the on the bottom of the laptop where you see the speaker the speaker openings down here and there's one screw down here so you remove the screw with a screwdriver and put the screw aside and you slide the store out and then you lift it up now doing that the act of doing that disables the battery so you can work on the laptop safely and the way it does that is it when removing the battery it flips this switch down it says PW off power off with a down arrow so that's how the battery is disabled so when you work on it make sure you don't flip the switch back up Keep it down. Okay, next thing we're going to do while we're on the bottom here is show you where the model number is because it's not on the front. Okay, it says right here Acer 4830 series, and right here it says Acer Aspire 4830T, and on top it says Timeline. Okay, so making sure that the power switch is flipped off, we'll flip the laptop back over and we open it up again. And before we go any further, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to need. We already used one of the screwdrivers. We have three screwdrivers, and we're probably just going to use one or two of those. The one that we'll probably use the most is the PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and one is the size. We also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver, just in case and a flathead screwdriver, which we probably won't use in this case. Also, we have an X-Acto blade or a hobby knife to remove plastic screw covers and a pair of tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. So the first order of business when replacing the screen on most laptops is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame going around the screen. And to remove the screen bezel, there's two plastic screw covers that we need to remove to get to the screws. So we'll start with that. And we'll use our X-Acto knife to remove the plastic screw covers, like so. And what I like to do is put them right next to the screw, screw covers or screw openings so that I don't lose them later on. And then we remove the two screws using our PH1 screwdriver. One and two. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile. And I like to keep the piles in order in which I remove so assembly is easier. I can keep better track of which screws go where. All right. Now, once that we removed the screws we can re start removing the screen bezel and what I like to do that the way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting it up and listen for snapping sounds. That means that the screen bezel is snapping off from the screen assembly. So we keep going around like so. If you get stuck at a place just go to a different place and go to a place that does work and come back to the place that you're stuck at. 
like so. And the screen bezel comes off easily. Okay. Next, uh, we see what kind of screen it is. This type of screen is referred to as a slim screen. It's a little bit thinner than a standard screen, and it's mounted by some screws on metal mounting tabs on the top and the bottom. So the next step is to use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four metal screws. And right away, when I start using my PH1 screwdriver, I see that it's too big. So we break out the PH00, the smaller screwdriver, and that works fine. So we remove the four screws and start, once again, a new pile with the four screws. Okay, like so. Three, and four. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to do a quick test to make sure that the power is disconnected. I try flipping on, turning on the on button, make sure the laptop is not turning on because if the battery, sometimes if the battery is connected and powered up, even though the laptop is not powered on, that can uh, damage the video chip on the laptop computer if you try to remove the screen with the battery still inserted. So we want to make sure all the power is disconnected. All right, once we remove the four screws, we gently lift the screen up from the back of the screen assembly and gently start putting it down, make sure that nothing is getting in the way. And so far, so good. Okay, for this type of screen, we see that there's only one connector at the bottom, which we need to remove, and it is secured by some uh, adhesive tape on top. So we we'll use our X-Acto knife to lift up a small corner of the adhesive tape, and then carefully lift up the adhesive tape, being careful not to damage the connector. Lift it up all the way around the connector. So all we want to do is remove the connector, like so. Let's get it closer. And once we do that, we pull the connector back, like so, and the video cable is separated from the screen. All right, so the screen is out. Now the first order of business actually, as I'm going to do, is once again reconnect it because the, one of the biggest sources of error I see is that when people reconnect it, it's not reconnected properly. So let's get a close up of what it's supposed to look like. When you reconnect it, you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel two clicks when we have a proper connection. and uh, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. This is a proper connection. All right, so once again, we keep moving. We remove the connector once again, and we look at the screen. Okay, this screen is fairly commonly available. And, um, having focusing problems. This screen is fairly commonly available. It's called a 14-inch LED slim screen. 14-inch LED slim. So let's look at the part number that you need to look for. Okay, let's see. Here we go. It's BT140GW03. So when you do your search, you search for BT 140 GW03. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available, and what you get is a compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you that the screen we ship you is compatible or will send you a replacement. 
we have free email technical support when you do the installation. So if you run any problems, into any problems with the installation, you can send us an email and we'll walk you through. And if you're not in the United States, we can ship just about anywhere in the world from our shopping cart online. So to buy the screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com, click buy a screen, and then you will have a short form to fill out where you need your email and your laptop model number. And then once you give that to us, we'll send you back the link to buy the right screen. Okay, and also when buying the screen, uh, we have a toolkit available to do the repair. It's all the tools that you see here, and they have been carefully selected to just in order to replace laptop screens. And you can buy that on our website also. Okay, so once you receive the screen, you reconnect the connector, put it back in, put the four screws in that are holding the screen, snap the bezel back on, put the two screws back on at the bottom, and then just put the panel in like that, like the way I showed you, going the opposite way, and the laptop the laptop switch will turn on again, and then you will be able to power up your laptop. Okay, uh, that's it. Fairly simple. My name is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.